Lately, we've been using our pasta attachment to make all kinds of flatbreads and crackers, and today we're going to show you how. So first things first, to secure your pasta rolling attachment to the stand mixer itself. Unscrew the little thing at the top of the mixer, then slide the attachment in. You'll sort of feel it lock into place, and then screw it back on, and just make sure it's tight before you start going. And you're ready to go. Put a little flour down on the surface and grab your dough. Here I have a rye seed cracker dough. And before you really get started with the actual crackers, just take a small piece off the edge of your dough. This is what I like to call the sacrificial cracker dough. And you're gonna run this through the machine beforehand and it'll sort of collect any residual dust that has accumulated on the machine as it sits. So then you take your dough and depending on what size it is, cut it into quarters or half. And I like to flatten them out with the heel of my hand a little bit to make it sort of into an approximate rectangle. The great thing about this attachment is that you can choose what thickness you'd like. We're gonna start on one, which is the thickest. I like a sturdy cracker, so I keep it there, but if you'd like something thinner, go ahead and move it to two or even three. And just start feeding your dough through. You can basically do the entire thing in your KitchenAid. You can mix the cracker dough in the bowl of the mixer, and then you can just move everything right to the attachment and roll out your crackers. And then make sure that you are flouring in between. We don't want any of the dough to be sticking to either the surface or the machine. And really, this is an exercise in folding. If you're getting a little bit of a rough edge, just fold it over on itself on the side of the edge that's a little bit rough. It's okay if it rips, just fold it back over on itself and feed it back through. Once you have your cracker dough to the thickness that you'd like it, just lay it out in front of you. Make sure your surface is well floured. And then you're gonna trim the edges with a sharp knife to go down each side of the dough. Then the middle, depending on the size of your crackers, it's really up to you. And then go ahead and cut them into cracker shapes. So once they're all sliced, just move them over to the baking sheet lined with parchment. So just to make sure that you don't waste any of your precious cracker dough, take all of your scraps, run them back through, and you can basically keep making crackers until you have nothing left. This is an optional step, but we like to put a little extra seeds on our crackers. Take the egg wash and just brush them really lightly. You don't want them to get too wet. And then take your seeds. I'm using sesame seeds here, but you can also use poppy seeds or cumin seeds. These crackers will bake for 25 to 30 minutes in a 300 degree oven. Just check on them a little bit. They're done when they're nice and crisp and you can go ahead and test one just to make sure. But before you serve them, allow them to come to room temperature.